Hey there, in this video, we're gonna prototype this tabs component animation in Figma. So that way the user visiting the prototype can interact with the component and select the different buttons we have for our tabs. So to start things off, here we are in my Figma project and I went ahead and already designed a tabs section or component. And I have three versions that I'm gonna want to animate on my project. So what I usually like to do is I like to build these components outside of what will be my main design for the website. So these component designs would be separate from the main design of my landing page or website. So with these three screens that I have designed, I've labeled each one. So we have them, they're called tabs component. And so this top one will represent the first tab and this middle one will be the second tab and this third one will be the third tab. So the first thing I wanna do is, well, all of them named tabs component, I'm gonna modify the name of all of these three. So that way, once we make them a component, we will have the variant name for each one. So with this first one selected, I'm gonna keep the name tabs component, but at the end of tabs component, at the end of the string, I'm gonna add a slash and type in tab one. And I'll repeat this for the next two. So I'll go to this middle one, add a slash, call it tab two. And for this third one, I'll call it tab three. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all three of these tabs. So all three are selected. And I'm gonna go up to the top here with these three dots. And I'm gonna create a component set. And what we now have is a component set of these three components. And they're all labeled of what they're going to be. So this is tab one, tab two, and tab three. And they got these names because we did the slash and called it tab one, tab two, and tab three. So I'm just going to make a couple more modifications to this design that will help embellish our prototype a little bit. So I'm going to first go into our tab one. And I'm going to zoom in. And this one is the first tab for uh, Los Angeles. So what I want to do is I'm going to select the second and third tab button. So I'm going to select Miami and Atlanta, and I'm going to give the opacity of these 20%. So that way these are faded out and only the Los Angeles button is fully 100%. And then I'm going to repeat this for tabs two and three. So I'm going to go to tab two, and this time I'm going to select Los Angeles and Atlanta, since this picture is Miami. And with Los Angeles and Atlanta's button selected, I'm gonna make the opacity 20%. But then I'll repeat this for the final one, which is the picture of Atlanta, Georgia. So in this one, I'm gonna select the button for Los Angeles and the button for Miami and make the appearance 20%. So now that we have that set up, we can now set up our prototype animation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the prototype win uh, window on the right-hand side, and we're gonna select tab one. We're gonna start with tab one. And what we need to do is we need to set up on-click interactions for when the user or the person previewing our prototype clicks on either Miami, Florida or Atlanta, Georgia. So first let's select that Miami, Florida button. So this Miami, Florida button selected what we're going to do is you can either drag down to that second tab component, or you can go here to the right-hand side and add the interaction. So I'm going to add the interaction here, and we're going to say on click. The action is going to be change to tab two. For our animation, we want to be smart animate, ease out, and we'll make the duration 500 milliseconds. And now with that one set up, we're gonna to go to this third button, set up an on-click interaction, on-click, change to tab three. Animation will be smart animate, ease out, and we'll keep this one at 500 milliseconds as well. And now we have to repeat this for our second and third tab component. So I'm gonna scroll down, and on the second tab, when we click on Los Angeles, we're gonna do the same, so interactions, 
on click, change to tab one, smart animate ease out at 500. And then we'll select the Atlanta button, interactions on click, change to tab three, smart animate ease out at 500. And then finally, we're on our last tabs design. So we'll start with the Los Angeles button, add the interaction on click, change to tab one. And lastly, the Miami button on click will change to tab two. So now that we have all of our change interaction set up, what we could do is we could draw out a, pro, a frame and I'll use this desktop frame and I'll just make it a little bit longer to fit our design. And then I can select the tab one and I'll hit the option key on my Mac to duplicate this and bring it onto my frame. And I'll just put it in the center here. And then we preview this desktop. I'll hide the UI and scroll down. We have our tabs component. I can click Miami and it fades in. I can click Atlanta, it fades in. And I could interact with this tabs component to preview the design we would want on our eventual website. So there you go. That's how you can animate and prototype a tabs component in Figma. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.